Sorry. Most important to defend yourselves at all times, all right? Just let's keep it clean. Clocker in. Louis Green. Nine. Seconds out. Round one. Here we go then. Louis Crocker, the age of 23, the younger man by some five years, slightly shorter on experience too, Barry, but we've seen plenty of him. He's appeared on ESPN televised bills each of his last three encounters. He's effectively been groomed for success, and these are now the times and the nights when he's going to have to deliver. Well, good shot there for Louis Green. Yeah, it certainly is. This is no, this is the acid test for him for sure. He's bonded with a big overhand right of his own. So far in his career, Crocker, he, he hasn't had to show everything. He's been in against some sort of tough guys who effectively set to take him rounds. Germani Camaro, who seen a few times over in Belfast, never been stopped. Kareem Malilich, the Frenchman as well, never been stopped. So those have been the guys that have been part of the education. He nearly got to John Thane, former British title challenger, when we saw him at the Elsa Hall back in February. You've got a guy in green here who can, who can whack a bit as well. And that's going to be a, something that Crocker's not used to. If he, he takes a big shot, will he panic and... For Green, if you catch him with a good shot, you'd, you'll be guaranteed he'd be looking to load up and, and let those hands go. Green it is, who's playing stalker so far. Nice jab there. Right hand, I should say, from uh, Green, trying to close the gap. So far, the footwork of Crocker has kept him at a safe distance. through the career. We've seen plenty of them, Barry and I, on the, the Belfast Bills, Crocker, there, there have been, he just oozed moments of, of talent. Now we see it, a chance for him to, to put it all together. He just had a nice little hook there, Crocker, just a few seconds ago there, but he's on the move off the ropes. So Green stalking, you know, he's trying to put pressure on Crocker, but he just needs to really let his hands go a little bit more. The canvas here, Green, that was a beauty and the bell may come in the nick of time. Seconds out, round two. Well, a minute to get over the effects of that huge left hook that put uh, Louis Green on the seat of his pants. To be fair for Green, he walked back to the corner, you know, on steady legs. And it's not uh, dampened his enthusiasm. In fact, he's uh, renewed his focus. Just a little quicken in the step oh, oh, oh. from him too. Almost walked onto another one there, though, Green. Ooh, that body shot. And I tell you what, the croc showing he's got a little bit of bite. He's trying to get on the front foot here. It's that fencing that, that croc is doing. That Green's finding hard to, to get past. Shot. And he's going up and down. The referee just warning him to, to keep that one above the belt, but he's mixing it up here. Crocker finding the space to get those hard punishing shots off. But Green's allowing that's better. At least he's trying to let his hands go there, Green. He's allowing Crocker to, to lead off. Again, he's walking up to him. He's walking too close without, without any, any resistance coming his way. So Crocker is not under pressure. He feels comfortable. All he has is a target walking at him. Turn his back there briefly, uh, Crocker. A little bit of inexperience. The problem Green got is that his stance is so wide and maybe he can't quicken his feet up enough to, to maybe rush him behind, behind a solid jab. Just thinking to get close to right, land that big right hand, and he did. There, Green. What? He is launching into some of these shots, Crocker. Got to throw one twos here with Green for me. Single shots can kind of allow Crocker to, to, to line him up for that long left hook.
Plenty of upper body movement from Crocker too. Just, just roughing him up a bit green, but Crocker's all, always stands. Shot there from Crocker. The response of the air back from some of the, the, the steam and power is going to go out of the, the punches early on from Crocker, who's looking full of the business. That's a good shot. Getting out there, two, three of them, I think they're landing. And Louis Green said he's had plenty of uh, warning, hasn't he, about the left hook through the first yeah. couple of rounds. To be fair, though, when Crocker went left hook crazy at one point, I think only about two of those landed, to be, to be honest. It sounded like there was a lot yeah, of, on the gloves, yeah. That's the good shot there, funny thing. And Crocker dips low, whipped that right up and cut right through the middle. So wide his legs are though, Green. If Crocker can pivot here somewhere now, a little faint and change direction, Green's going to struggle to stay with him. Good right hand there. Did, he hurt, did he hurt him? I just think, just, I don't think, just look off balance a little bit, I think. Oh, oh, it's a right hand back from Green though, he's prepared to fight fire with fire, walk through if he has to. Putting a lot into these shots, Lewis Crocker. He is, but he's cut with it. And also the, the pressure from Green, it's pressure, but it's not intense enough. He's not making Crocker work hard, too hard, just as yet. A bit harder. Then that might have some effect as the rounds go by. Regarding Crocker on the on the way up so far, is it, 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 does he like to operate at his own pace, or and can he be discomforted in in any way? But to be fair to him, he's, he's finding the space so far tonight. Just feel Green just just, just waiting for that perfect shot there, Green. That's a good right hand for him there, but just let him go. Oh, oh, body shots from Green, yeah, I think. absolutely. Again, hands go. Maybe we show, we show the little clips there. When he does let his hands go, he's having a bit of success, but just waiting a little bit too long for me. But they're right, though. He, got, he caught Croc with a left up to the body, and Croc didn't like it. But I still think Crocker's works are... A little bit better for me at the minute. And Green's already got that uh, win from a couple of years ago against Freddie Cowett. He's a really sort of tall, rangy boxer, so that's a good name to have on his record for that southern area title. It's pretty close, only one point in it back in 2017. He defended that once. A couple of good results for him laterally as well coming into this one. He's got real fast twitch explosivity, hasn't he, Crocker? Good work. Yeah, he has, yeah. Good, good work there, though, from Crocker. Nice little one, too. Little thing in his ear, no green. Crocker's going to line him up there with a long left hook. If he's just a, bit, a, a big thing I would do with the front foot. back though from Crocker and two. Work for sure Crocker here but I don't think Green is, that's better from Green as I say it, I'm taking advantage of that. 
them arms up, get them arms up. Hands up. Green's cock cock a, a couple of times on the way out. He's tried to sort of spun out of distance. In the but he rolls onto the left there, Crockett, and Green chases him down. He's a little bit off balance, isn't he? Crockett. And then, and I think Dee Walsh and the, the Lewis Crocker corner there just uh, happy to click the rounds onto the scorecard one by one after that really explosive start. There Green. That's good, that's better for me. He needs to work that body. Exactly what he did there. Should draw there now, Green. He's got, the, he's got the front foot where he wants in the centre of the stance. Then he's got to roll, roll from the right to the left and lift that left up to the body. That's good. That's pretty good at tying him up once they do get close. Crocker needs to get his jab back in the play. Oh, another huge shot. Yeah, that, that came from Green having a go with his own right hand and Crocker made him miss. Punished him for it. But up until that point, I thought Green had his sus because he was dipping low all the time because he was to stay up with that left hook and that was the only shot that was coming his own way. Head to head now. He's, he's where he wants to be, Green, surely. Just how effective is he, he proved to be? Good shot there from Green. Two right hands, one after the other. But for the most part, for those early rounds, he was getting himself into position and then just waiting too long to let his hands go. For me, that would no. I think he would, have been, he would have been winning the rounds, but he would have been more effective, you would feel. And also, it, may, it puts more pressure on Crocker, makes him work, and he might have, you know, might have sort of drained the energy a little bit as we get into the second half of the fight. Better from Green. Got his own body shot in there. And he's he's ahead here with Crocker. Oh, some of those left hooks from Crocker really are whipping in. The response so back for Green. Well, that was low. I, I, I don't think any of the others have been so far. Okay. Yeah. All right. Box on. Come on. And of course, <laughs> Louis Green. Let's crack. Let's crack on. Again, they're, they're sort of thunderous sounding shots and mean in intention for Lewis Crock. I think luckily for, for Green, a lot of those are coming on the gloves. Oh, lovely cute little rubber cut there from Crocker. What Crocker stopped doing was throwing that left hand out. A nice little chop in right hand there from Green. Yeah, that was good, wasn't he? Punched straight back. Straight back. That was a really sharp counter that from Green. And that might just be the, the template for him. Nice from Green. Left at the by the end and chop him right down to the top. Beautiful. Lovely. Crocker, he's relishing. Just think Crocker rolls a little bit better than anything close. Again, the song, the song, terrific. The jab has been neglected. Dots around it. For cricket, for the most part. Crocker's 
doing exactly what he did from the first round, and that's throw that left two keep. He landed that one much cleaner. Oh. Well, he's been whipping away with a left two to the body repeatedly over the last four or five rounds, if not from the start of the contest. He's taking every moment here, shaking the head, Louis Green. He needed all his toughness to get back up from that one with a minute and a half to go. That's the right move there from Green. Hold on. That's a beautiful combination. Oh, there he goes again. And he's intelligent there, Crocker. He was trying to tee it up with shots to the head initially. How much resistance has he got, Louis Green? That right hand wobbling him. He's down again. Uh, second time in this seventh round. Uh, for the third time in the fight. And he's seen enough, Michael Alexander. And you can see the jubilation there and the response from Louis Crocker. He knows... Yeah. That him becoming the, the first man to stop uh, Louis Green. He has produced a career best and sent out a little bit of a statement in the process. It was a fantastic combination to start to finish. Really was that right up a left hook. Because that left hook, where he'd been throwing loads of weighty shots throughout the fight, that left that left hook there for the body was a whipping shot right across the right across the midriff, and that just took all the wind there out of the. Oh, the one I can say, nothing but a real tough, stubborn man because oh. he took some great shots and was competitive and could have done better, I thought, meeting Green. If he would let his hands go, I think it would have been a harder fight for Crocker, but he made Crocker work. And to be fair to Crocker, he, he coped with the pressure quite comfortable at times, to be fair. But look at that. So Green, short right uppercut, whipping left hook across the target. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. And you can see that again, it's that's just a half a second delay, isn't it? When he's down and then. Shot. It really is. He did well to get up for that, to be honest, because he had to take a gulp of breath just to get off the floor for that. But then yeah. once you've been hurt to the body, it weakens the rest of you. And that right hand over the shot, over the over the low left hand there, perfect shot to finish the fight. And I think the he could have carried on, but I think the referee was right. Still right. a minute to go. Right, he's lost wall. every round. Yeah, and that body, you know, the body shot. It's a, it's a long, it's a long way, and he'd be disappointed, but. Right shot. And listen, Crocker, he had to step up to the plate tonight and he um, came up with the goods again. Contest came to an end after two minutes. In two seconds of round number seven, referee Michael Alexander deeming Louis Green in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner and the new WBO European welterweight champion from Belfast, Northern Ireland, Louis the Pro. response from Lewis Crocker, the, the reaction there Barry, uh, he's you can see how, how much it means to him but I, I think it's it's a combination of, of factors, it's been posed the challenge, it's the belief that people have in him, it was the test that was in front of him, all the pressures that go with it and he's more than risen to the occasion 